your advisor, you ask someone to be your advisor, um, you don't necessarily have to know who that person is when you start off a degree. Um, so if you're doing your master's, for example, um, if, if you have a general idea of what type of mathematics or science that you'd like to do a project in, you, you kind of, you know, ask maybe uh, the chair of the department, you know, who works in this area, who would be a good person for me to ask to be my advisor. And that's, I mean, it's somewhat of a, a stressful time because it's kind of like asking someone to the prom or something. It's like, will you be my advisor? Uh, but hopefully you've made, maybe you've had that person in a class before or something and you know a little bit about what he or she does in their research and so um, you think it's appropriate to ask them. Um, sometimes in a PhD program, for example, you, you, you don't get assigned a PhD advisor until after you've passed your qualifying exam. So you've kind of proven yourself, you know, okay, I mean, once you pass those, those qualifying exams, you're kind of considered a full PhD student, you're, you know. Um, so now is the time to find your advisor. And, you know, for, for me, I kind of had an idea who I wanted to work with when I came to Kansas. Um, but you still have to ask, you know, because it's a lot of work for an advisor, you know, I mean, that's especially for a PhD advisor. I mean, you're going to be um, working with that person for three, four, five years, and um, it takes a lot of work on their part. I've heard of many different types of relationships between advisors and or, or mentors and students, advisors and students, and um, you have to find a personality match. I mean, some students are, are very needy and some students are very independent. Um, I think I'm kind of somewhere in between, and so I, I don't think I would have worked well with an advisor who was completely um, standoffish and I was only only able to see you know once every two weeks or something like that um, so uh, you kind of have to feel that out and it's a hard thing to do because you don't exactly know how how a person is gonna how, how, how a mentor is gonna be until you've you know started working with them so you just have to ask around I mean if if a mentor or an advisor has had um, many advisees in the past just go and ask them and say you know how, how did you like your relationship with this person Thank you.